Cut a 25 cm length of cortex, removing 4 cm of the outer coating from one end. Into the end of the supple section, tie a small overhand loop knot, ease it down and trim away the tag ends using some titanium braid blades. The end of the hook link should be threaded through the back of the hook eye and the hook that we prefer th for this rig is an Armour Point SSC. A boil is threaded onto the hair so that we can measure the exact length, 15 millimetres between the bend of the hook and the top of the bait is just right. Now we form the knotless knot, each whipping neatly placed behind the previous one. About five or six turns is right and this should be done with the coated section. When the whipping is finished, it's threaded back through to exit from the front of the hook eye. Next a shot is pinched onto the hook link exactly in between the end of the whipping and the top of the boilie. The other end of the hook link uses a loop again tied with a figure of eight loop knot. This allows us to use the quick change swivel system. Trim away the tag end and slide the quick change sleeve into position. The rig can now be placed over the quick change swivel which in this instance we've used with a safety bolt clip. In situ the rig looks unusual as you can see the boilie sits up the hook sits flat on the lake bed anchored by the shot. Try not to have the shot suspended mid-water it should be on the bottom with the boilie above it. A very different presentation which is unusual and as Max says we're not quite sure why it works but it certainly does. Give it a go I think you'll be impressed.